Good morning, everybody, and welcome to the Retired Vet Show. Please like and subscribe to the channel as you come in so those algorithms can see that, hey, this video is worth something. Let's move it up the chain. Let's get into this topic about Representative Green uh, tried to push forth her motion to oust the Speaker Johnson, and it failed because of the unit party. And what do I call the unit party? When the Democrats come to your rescue, then you no longer are just a Republican party. You have become a unit party where the Democrats and Republicans are, are sharing leadership. This is what uh, Representative Green was talking about when she said she wanted to push this motion. A lot of people don't like Marjorie Taylor Green. A lot of people think she's grandstanding, but she's bringing out the obvious point that all of you should see is that Washington, D.C. is broken. Washington, D.C. works on behind the scene deals <clears throat> where you, the American people, get screwed, where your tax dollars that you work hard for are being sent out the door to foreign countries and you don't have the receipts of where that money is going and how that money is being spent. We spent over a hundred billion dollars in Ukraine, and I guarantee you nobody in Washington, D.C. could tell you where that money is going or how that money has been spent or who's pocketing that money. Therein lies the problem. That's the problem I'm talking about. Nobody wants to, to, to show us where that money was spent. But we can pass a, a funding bill for Ukraine, for, 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 um, for Israel, and we can withhold the lethal aid for, you, for, for Israel, but we can send the money to Ukraine unimpeded without any strings attached. How is that? How is that okay? An ally of ours is being withheld, but someone outside the uh, the NATO nations is getting everything they want at a moment's notice. And yet they're still asking for more money. By the end of the summer, they'll be asking for another Ukraine package. By September, they'll want to push another omnibus bill instead of the 12 appropriations bill that Speaker Johnson said he wanted to do. The seven two hour rule to read a bill before it's passed was thrown out the window on all the omnibus bills and the Ukraine package. Everything was thrown out the window. The secure the border before a Ukraine bill was brought to the floor was thrown out the window. The language that came over from the Senate is the same language that the Republican House voted on. No changes. You would have thought that. If the Senate, if, if the, the Democrat controlled Senate sends a bill over to the House, mark it down, there's going to be some changes. There's no way we're going to take a, a, a Democrat led Senate bill and not do any changes to it. Not a period was changed, not a T that was uncrossed. It was sent back as exactly as it came over and it was passed. That's what I'm talking about, Uniparty. When you got two sides working together against the American people to send your money out the door without any strings attached, not to secure your border, to allow over 15, 20 million people to flood this country. And you got some people oblivious that this is going on. How is that possible? How is that possible? You got people in the United States don't know that we have illegals flooding our country. It's mind boggling to me. When all you got to do is go do a simple Google search and you can tell or look at a news channel other than CNN or MSNBC. You can see all the people that have flooded over the border this past December in January, February, March. <clears throat> so we had uh, 11 Republicans voted in favor of moving this motion to the floor to our Speaker Johnson but over 300 and some unit party Democrats and Republicans voted to not push this measure to the floor to get a full house vote. So you could see exactly if he was going to keep his speakership. I would say he's a speaker that doesn't have his speakership in the Republicans viewpoint because you had enough Republicans to keep him from keeping his speakership. Even Hakeem Jeffries and Nancy Pelosi voted for him to be speaker. How is that possible? Please tell me how Nancy Pelosi and Akeem Jeffries allowed him to keep his speakership if they weren't getting something in return, which is everything that they asked for. So you had Biggs of Arizona, 
Burleson of Missouri, Crane of Arizona, Davidson from Ohio, Gosar from Arizona, Green from Georgia, Massey from Kentucky, Mooney from West Virginia, Moore from Alabama, Roy from Texas, Sparks from Indiana voted to move the motion to the floor to oust Speaker Johnson. Those were the only 11 that stood up and said, yes, let's do this. And then you had some Republicans who didn't vote at all. But if that vote had gotten to the floor, we wouldn't have a Speaker Johnson today. There wouldn't be a speaker until they find somebody who is willing to do the job. We have a spineless Speaker of the House in Speaker Johnson. Now, he can talk all the pretty talk that he wants, but he knows he's a dead man walking because he don't have the Republican support, 100 percent support to do anything. He has to pull from the Democrats in order to pass anything. No 12 appropriations bills are going to happen. No uh, 72 hour rule is going to happen. Everything from this point forward is going to be behind the door deals by Speaker Johnson and the Democrats. And these spineless 190 some Republicans are going to vote for it because they don't have a spine enough to stand up to him and say, no more of this garbage. I've had enough. If we're going to govern, we're going to govern as a party, not as a uniparty. We're not going to push the left's ideas. We're going to push the Republicans' ideas. <clears throat> now, if you want to know how your representatives are voting, I will link in the description so you can see how your representatives are voting on each and every bill that comes to the floor. So I will put that in the description box so you can, so you can see it for yourself. Let me know what you think down in the comments. <clears throat> If you can like this video, hit the like button. Please subscribe to this channel for future content. And as always, thank you for watching The Retired Vet Show. God bless you all. Stay safe.